Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Looks like we gotta lay some sewer pipe to start today. Uh, and then pour slab foundation. Already says 2% done. I don't know how that happened because I don't think I've done anything like that. Uh, sewer components. We gotta deliver those uh, to the work job here. I need seven of them apparently. So uh, I don't know where I get those. I mean, is it is it is it here? Uh, let's go ahead and enter the building and then uh let's see we'll filter filter by the job okay there they are uh can we just go ahead and get seven of them uh, no not eight not wait wait how do i go backwards i don't want that many uh wait a uh, oh, why to remove okay not not why is the question oh i hit a whole bunch of wrong buttons there uh, <laughs> let me try that again all right enter Filter by job. Y to remove. There we go. That's better. And you know what? I might as well just grab these while we're here. And then... Deliver for 1500 And there they are. Yes, remove the cash. All right. Um, but let me guess. I got to put them... Do I just got to put them in place? Can I not put my big crane down yet? Is that is that a thing? Is that... Do I have a spot for a big crane to go? I'm not seeing it anywhere, which kind of sucks. Because that would make my job just a little bit easier rather than having to use the, uh, the flatbed. Alright, looks like I'm using the flatbed. I really don't see a place to put the crane. Alright, let's, let's go get the flatbed. As I run out of breath, it seems like. It's like the game knows me. I'm out of shape. Alright, let's just uh, scoot around here. Is there a way for me to get, like, in between these so I can get these installed? It says deliver. Do I have to actually put them... I don't know. Let me see if I can just put them in, in place here. Uh, change mode. Should have plenty of room to extend out the footings. I would have guessed I don't have enough length on this. Story of my life. Uh, let's go ahead and... Nope, this way. How far out can we reach? Probably not far enough. Well, I might be able to get a couple of them. Okay, wait a minute. That's going further than I thought. I don't want that. Nope. Back up. Let's grab that. Nope, let's go up. Spin it around. Uh, how far out can we reach? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We'll work our way furthest way out to in. All right, that's good. That's one down. Six more to go. Ooh, I can reach. Okay, that's farther than I thought I was going to be able to reach. Uh, reverse controls. Got to get used to that. All right, let's pull that in. Can I reach? Oh, I think I'm gonna be able. To, I might be able to reach that. Maybe not. That might be a little bit too far. All right, I'm gonna put that there. I'll just have to move the truck. At least I got that piece moved closer, so I don't make the mistake of moving the truck and then not be able to reach uh, over here. So we are 55% of the way done with the job. I hope to get up to at least 80% today. Uh, as we know in construction sims, sometimes the amount of work does not really coincide with the amount of percentage you got done on the job, it seems like. But we'll just go on and we get done what we get done. Ooh. 
reverse controls get me after a while. Not quite lined up, but you know, if it turns green, that's all I need to see. And wait a minute. Oh, maybe three more do go here. I was looking at them like, wait, I only got two spots left. And like, no, we, we actually got three spots left. I wonder if we're going to have me backfill these holes in. Alright, so this truck is getting the job done. And actually parked it in a good spot for once. Just as soon as I start to get used to the controls, I'm just about done, right? That's the way it works. Then, then I don't get used to control controls. All right. Let's go ahead and move the truck. I'll reset that. Change driving mode. Just got to move the truck a little bit. That looks like a good spot. Hopefully the footing, yeah, footing got plenty of room there. And then it looks like we're about to bring in our concrete pour and our cement truck to pour the slab. Okay, let me reset. Whoop. Reset that. Nice, quick, and easy. Driving mode. So am I just pouring the slab right in front of us? I don't see... I think that's the only spot I'm pouring into. That is parked way over here. Well, my next point, I may put into physical attributes for my character because it always seems like he's running out of breath. I think I'm only pouring here. I'm going to give myself some room. Uh, change mode. Get this extended so I can open up the chute and then we can start pouring the concrete into here. Actually, I probably... You know what? I may not even need that. Hold on. I probably can just back right up in the cement truck and pour it right on in. I think the chute might be able to reach that far over. Uh, we got about a half a load of concrete, but we can always just buy some more. Go into the ditch. I don't, I don't know how far <laughs> I can go in before I can't get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now let's change the camera angle there. Oh, so only the rear wheels have grip? All right, uh, let's see here. Shoot on and off. There's the shoe. Okay, and then pouring. Oop, let's go forward a little bit. Uh, which one wags the tail? There we go. I didn't really back up the best way, but... 
Uh, let's turn the pouring off for a second so I don't waste the concrete. That might be close enough. Is it close enough? Ninety-eight. Back up a little bit more just to get that corner. That might be get the last two percent. It does. Perfect. Nope. Sorry. It turned off automatically. All right. Clear the marked area. So I didn't need. Didn't need the other vehicle. All right, but we still got to clear the area. Poor strip foundation. Oh, wait a minute. So I cleared the area? Okay, never mind. Uh, poor strip foundation. Where? Where's that? Okay. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> I cleared the area, but now I got to pour that. Um, maybe I'll use this now because I'm not too sure I can get the shoe on the cement mixer that far back. All right, we'll, we'll bring it. Did I open this up? I don't think so. Gotta open that up first. Open close hopper. That's now open. For the fence there. Uh, let's see. Uh, shoot on so I can see where I'm backing up to. It's getting dark. We'll sleep uh, into the morning once I get this job done, I think. Or as they say, take a coffee break. Uh, the shoot is uh, too... It's too low? So this, yeah, that'll work. I think that's going to go in. I uh, can't tell if it's going in or not. Maybe not. Find out in a second. Uh, pouring on. And either we ran out of concrete, or that's not going in. And, okay, it's not as lined up as well as I thought it was. Yeah, we got concrete here. Let me just uh, wag the tail over a little bit. Now we can hear it splattering in. Hopefully I got enough in the mixer to finish up this little job. I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy some more in the future anyways. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and... Uh, no, don't fold this up. Because I'll get in trouble by doing so. Uh, metal footpath element 6. So let me bring the flatbed back over. I'm going to leave that running there because why not? Oh, let's go ahead and yeah, let's, we'll, we'll take a coffee break until morning. There we go. All this yellow around uh, makes it nice and bright. That's for darn sure. Just notice that we're getting pretty close to level 19. Uh, is that going to be in the way? The poor might be in the way. I don't know. The goods are out of reach of the crane hook. How do you know that? We haven't even begun yet. Unless I'm grabbing the wrong material.
Don't know why I said it was out of reach. Uh, it does say two of them. Uh, where is the other? I mean, there's the other. Okay, how come one was over there? <laughs> okay, I guess that's why it might be out of reach. All right, hang on a second here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll bring that on over, I guess. Uh, I'm hoping this will fit on the flatbed. Did I did I bring that over before? I don't remember doing so. Okay, you're gonna have a hard problem putting the footing down because I'm on different levels. And plus, I'm on what I want to pick up. That's weird. That actually gave me like, oh no, we can put the footing down here. I don't know if I would have been able to pick that up or not. So we'll just uh, move forward a bit. This looks like it's the same length as the flatbed, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to lift this up or, or not lift it up, but put it on the truck. If not, what I could do is just move it far enough forward and then move the truck forward and pick it up again. You know, I'm just going to... Well, we'll see. Can I... I forgot what button it is to rotate. Yeah, I don't remember what button it is to rotate. I thought it was that button, but it might be telling me that my truck is in the way. So we're just going to scooch it as far out as we can. Reset. Drive mode. So much better when I can just have my uh, big crane in place and just, you know, that will reach us, I don't want to say anywhere, but pretty darn close. I don't have to keep playing the hokey pokey. Kind of interested to see how this airport is going to look when we get done with it. But there might be different stages of it. Because I think the job is... Whoop, uh, there goes my truck. Uh, <laughs> I think it just says airport job one. There's that. Clear the construction site. Oh, I hit level 19 as well. Uh, reset. Everything must go. Try to keep a nice clean construction site if I can. I'll grab the uh, cement mixer next. Uh, going off. One more piece to remove. I was going to say, it said one of four left. I said, what was the, I can see what the other one, what's the fourth one? I guess that was me. I'm the fourth one. That's a, 
interesting uh, moon that we got behind us. There we go, deliver pallets of wood, which are already at the construction site, just gonna move them over. And then deliver and unload gravel, so we can just buy the gravel in the dump truck and just unload it that way. Let's get the pallets moved first, because that's the step that it's showing. I will say one thing, if I find out later on that I could have put down the, uh, the standard crane, and I haven't been using it, I'll be upset. Shouldn't matter how I load these on because even if I did it really, really bad, they're both fit on there easily. And plus I could stack one on top of another. I get why they make us move it just to make us actually do some work here rather than they deliver it right to the spot where it needs to be. I'm not sure if I had the Kenny up here. I'm not sure if that crane will be, if I parked it like the middle, if I could have grabbed, grabbed and just swung around. Uh, wait, where are these going? Oh, over there. I see now. I see it. Oh, they did take all the dirt that we kind of left on top there and covered up the pipe. Oh, I'm in camera mode. That's why. Alright, always, I always try to get the farthest one away first. That way I'm not delivering over the top of it and it's not getting in my way. And probably in real life that's what you would want to do, just in case you drop something and you're not over top of the other good material, you don't damage both. <laughs> so, that's what I would probably do. I mean, deliver the farthest away like I am not dropping it and, well, I probably would drop it at some point. All right, let's go park the truck back away where it needs to go. And then we'll grab the dump truck. We'll just buy ourselves some gravel. I'm guessing I'm putting it where those yellow squares were, where the foundation was that we poured last episode, I'm going to say. All right, to the dump truck. And they want deliver and unload gravel. Piece of plastic, okay. Don't know what I was expecting to be in the middle of the road there, but maybe a dollar bill floating around. This thing steers a little bit quicker than everything else I've been driving. Uh, I'm going to go far back as I can because I just want to dump it in front and find out I got to put more in than I'm kind of, you know, a little bit in trouble. Uh, okay, so they want gravel. Fill up. Let's see, we just make sure gravel, sand, soil, empty. Uh, yes, we want gravel. 20,000. 
I uh, kind of forgot how to... Yeah, that is the way you unload it. Right, let me back up a little bit more. Make sure we get it all out. Alright, and then fill up. Do I have to uh, flatten the bed or can I just... I guess we can just leave it like that. Okay, you gotta keep driving forward. That's why the, the bed keeps coming on down. I'm trying to force it up if I can. I think I got plenty of room here. Alright, and then fill back up with more gravel. My guess is this is going to be the hangers for the airplanes. Alright, so that's complete. Uh, no, let's uh, drive a little bit more forward. Alright, now we can uh, back on up. Oh, did it level it out for us as well? How nice of them. Fill up with gravel again, please. Still too close. Sorry about all the camera angles. <laughs> it's the same button for lifting up the uh, the, uh, the dumper along with the camera angles. I was trying to get the camera angle and drive forward and dump at the same time. Can't do that. One or the other. Money's going down, but that's all right. We're going to make about a million and a half when this project's all done. But we've been making money as we've gone along so far. I've completed a milestone. Not sure what it was, but uh, we completed it. Uh, I'm 3% short. Well, that sucks. i got to fill her on up. I'll keep the gravel in the back just in case I need just a little bit more. I, I, can, I can sell it back, I'm sure, but I don't think I'm going to get a full refund of what I paid for it. Unpack construction materials. So I'm going to assume it's the wood that we delivered back in the corner. And we're going to build the hangar. Maybe that plane that keeps circling around is waiting for us to finish up the airport so we can land. So I don't actually have to compact the gravel in? All right, that would seem kind of important to do. Um, are we unpacking? Okay, I, I didn't hit it long enough, apparently. Um, pour slab foundation. Uh, yeah, we'll probably definitely use the concrete pour for that. Getting my exercise in is what I'm doing. And I'm probably going to end up pouring a, a, a runway with concrete, I would assume. I prefer concrete if it was my airport. I don't want to get too close. I'll we'll get it in the farthest corner. I think 
that will be good. Uh, open up the hopper. And the concrete mixer probably should just fill it on up before I start because we got a little bit left, but not enough to complete the job, of course. So, since I'm in it, I might as well fill it on up. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't charge me a four full mixer. I, I hope it just charges me for what space is left. Easy uh, on the accelerator. Uh, nope. Wag the tail that way. Uh, empty. Wait, so I either got to empty. I can't fill. All right. I'll just have to come back and do it. Ain't no big deal. All right, and then we want to turn the pouring on. It looks like I'm pouring it onto a blue plastic tart. Honestly, it's what it looks like. All right. Knew that wasn't going to last that long, but it went longer than I thought it would. back on please I'm just gonna go the direction whatever the, the, the mixer pour goes if I'm folding in I'm just gonna keep on going that direction All right, now we'll scoot across We'll connect the dots, don't worry. Come on, get that little corner there, there we go. wonder where all the workers are in there to spread this out and smooth it out like they should be doing but we got magical concrete here it's just going to smooth out on its own uh, okay so we're just about halfway done I'd be more than halfway done myself, but no, no, don't fold up. Okay, that might be as close as I can get before it wants to fold up. I was extending it, so I don't know why you fold it up then. Come on, unfold. I've had this problem before with this, uh, there we go, uh, with this thing. Wanting to do that a lot when it shouldn't. Sure, something. 
Why? Come on, boom. All right, let me go ahead and reset this. I think that's what I've done before. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to lift this on up, I don't think. Nope, because the cement mixer's in the way. Yep. Probably should actually move. You know, I'm going to move this further back. Okay, let me go move the cement truck as well. And we'll reset everything, I guess. Sixty-eight percent done on pouring the slab foundation. You know what? Do I want to do that with the truck? I could just do that with a truck, right? Might be easier. Um, of course, I would, in real life, I wouldn't because <laughs> I'm going to get concrete all over this thing by driving through here. Any real uh, concrete workers out there are probably shaking their head right now, and I don't blame you. Beats faffing around with the uh, the pour. Not the best camera angle to be working at, but it's, uh, well, it was working. Ninety five percent done. Oh, and of course, we're empty. Uh, <laughs> fill her back up, please. Yeah, I don't think we can ask for like a half a load. We just get what we get. Hopefully I get the last 2% before I hit the, the barrier in front of me. Looks like we did. Alright. And let's, uh... Deliver and spread gravel. Alright. I'm sure those tire marks will disappear. Get this off the job site, or at least the work area. Is it? Uh, is it it's almost evening once again. I think the last, like, uh, what, 10% of the job, or maybe even more, is just talking to the foreman 
or wherever we uh, take the job from. So we might not be too far from actually getting the job done. All right, dump truck next. If I'm doing, if I gotta lay gravel all the way down for the runway, that's gonna be a lot of gravel. It looks like I just gotta deliver it in this uh, yellow area, so that could be a lot of gravel. Now, let me try to get a good camera angle this time. Okay, it's going to cost a little bit, but uh, what we got to do, and it definitely beats driving all the way. Well, actually, I think there's one not technically far from here. So even though overall I'm making like a 1.5 million on the job, I'm probably buying maybe half of that material to get it delivered between the concrete and the gravel. Maybe not that much. I'm just, uh, I mean, it's $20,000 a load. 35 loads is 100,000. So this might be what, 200,000 for gravel I'm spending here. And it probably is cheaper going all the way to the, the pit and grabbing it. Just some loading as I drive forward. And the good thing is I got most of it done in one pass. I wonder if I'll have to spread this one out and compact it. Alright, I think that's good enough because we did it quite a bit on the first uh, pass. Actually, I think if you just hold down the trigger for driving forward, it goes at a slower pace as you unload. And it seems like a good even pace. Oh, we're done, apparently. Now stop putting more gravel there, please. I, I, that's, that's my money. Clear the marked area. So we've done that. Have we not? Okay, there it goes. Compact gravel. Well, we got that machine already up here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll take a coffee break until morning again. Seemed like uh, half of you didn't mind working at night and the other half were like, yeah, we can skip the night. So I'm trying to make everyone, I think everyone would be happy if we just skip the night, I guess. It says base layer. We are 80% done. I could look at the job itself and it'll tell me what steps I got left. Okay, we are in the work zone. This 
may be a little bit of a tedious job, so I may uh, jump cut in some of this. Oh, there it goes. Now it seems like it's going up at a good pace. But it might be one of those where I got the last like 5%, I got to like zigzag everywhere to try to find out where I got to go. follow me. Not that's a big deal. Just uh, saves me a couple seconds. So my guess is we're just building like the hangar and maybe where the passengers would load up. We haven't done, you know, we'll have to do the runway later on. Like a different job. Now, I assume it's just going to be like uh, dig up a little bit of dirt, put down gravel, and then, uh, you know, lay down some concrete. But let me go ahead and get this job done here. It's not like I don't mind showing you this, but like I said, I think uh, it's going to be kind of tedious near the end. I'm going to have to get little pieces that I missed here and there. At least I can see the difference rather well, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, just about done. It was easier than I thought. Um, I wasn't even paying attention, and I looked up, I'm like, oh, we're at 95% done. Better bring you guys back. Uh, yeah, easy peasy, nice and easy. Uh, turn off the compacting, and let's get this off the work zone. If I steamroll this bush, yeah, nothing much happens there. Runway part one done. Uh, okay, apply asphalt, compact asphalt, which is a different roller than what we got. Uh, so 1424 meters that way. So what I think we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and finish up this job next time, but uh, we're getting close. Um, so I mean, is that as far as the runway is going to go? I hope not. So I got to get a lot of material up here. Uh, but if we go into uh, jobs, runway part one, details, and then we uh, scroll on down. Oh, so we just got the uh, the runway itself, which is laying the asphalt. Special delivery. Uh, I can probably just get that delivered up here. And then I got to use a mobile crane, which I may or may not have. Yeah, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, yeah, I think we'll just leave it. I don't want to get uh, like five more minutes in and, and then uh, find out it's going to take quite a while here. So we'll finish up that next time. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here at Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.